But this is what they are giving. Hope you guys can see. Like, just think of all the styles I'm gonna be able to do with them. They look so cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey y'all, so I probably already showed you the final products of the style that we are getting into today, but I'm super excited because I am doing some blonde knotless boho braids, okay? Before we jump into the braiding here, I want to give a special shout out to Y Wigs. They are sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much. They sent over two bundles of their bulk hair, which is human hair, in the colors 27 and 613. These bundles are deep wave and 20 inches. It's perfect for boho knotless braids because human hair doesn't, you know, tangle as much as braiding hair. Your style will last longer and it gives a fullness to your overall look. Since this hair is highlighted with blonde and brown, I added this in the middle and towards the back of my head to give that full effect. And then I'll show you guys in a second the platinum 613 bundles I used for the front of my hair. But thank you again, Y Wigs, for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love this bulk hair. I'm going on a trip. We about to turn Miami Sky Yammy. I know getting the color mix is super important, so I'm gonna start there. Picked up the colors 27, 30, and 613. This is a very platinum ashy blonde. So for my curly pieces, I also got this blonde. In terms of mixing the colors together, literally all you do is put a bundle of 27, 30, and 613 in your hands, and you will like this over and over and over again okay you're going to eventually get something that looks like this depending on like how much of the colors you put together i only use a little bit of the 613 in this bundle because this is going in the back of my head and i want most of the blonde to go in the front like on the top of my head so enough of me rambling let's get into the braiding process I like to use shine and jam on my hair and my scalp to get the perfect parts if you struggle with parting stand in between a full body mirror and the mirrors that are in your bathroom and just take your time because with patience you'll be able to get the perfect part also get this right tail comb okay it's the best when it comes to parting and sectioning out your hair also you guys are going to see me use some of these silver clips i highly suggest getting those i got mine from my local beauty supply um, and everything else that I used in today's video, including the braiding hair, including the jam, the edge control, everything will be linked in my description box down below so you guys can shop directly on my Amazon storefront. So when it comes to braiding knotless braids, I like to take my time. I start with my natural hair, okay, before I add any of the braiding hair. And I like to braid three times down, as you will see me do here. So once you get your three sections, you're just going to braid down three times as normal with just your natural hair. And then you're going to add a small section. I'm using like micro pieces of hair, okay? Micro. You just add it. I like to grab it with my index finger. Make sure you pull it tight to your scalp. A lot of people say they can't keep the braid like close to their head. That helps me right there. After I add the first piece, I add a second piece, braid that down, and I follow with a third piece, braid that down. Um, make sure you don't pull any of your hair from another section. If you do, just pop it out of place, just like that with your right tail comb. But yeah, once you add your initial three pieces, you're just going to braid down until you feel like you have a natural grip on the hair. And then I like to pull all the hair towards my front, and then I continue to braid. Make sure that you are applying a lot of jam to your natural hair so it can blend it with the extensions, especially if you have a blunt cut like me. I'm not going to lie, these braids didn't last me long because my natural hair was popping out. Y'all know I just did my big chop, so... Anyways, the style still came out cute, but after I braid my hair down, I get past my natural hair. That's when I add more pieces of hair. Um, For one braid, I'm probably going to use, like six to eight pieces depending on the length now here i go adding this curly hair this bundle was also on my amazon storefront i ended up not liking this hair so thank god for Y wigs for sending me the hair that they sent me 
Um, I added this towards the front of my hair, but I really relied heavily on the wide wigs hair because for one, the, the length was longer. This bundle is like 14 inches. They sent me 20 inches. So that hair was longer. It was better quality. It was softer. I just can't rave enough about wide wigs. So thank y'all again for sponsoring today's video. So yeah, I follow those steps over and over again. So I'm going to let y'all relax and listen to some music. probably like how did we go from her doing the first braid to getting to the top of her head girl i realized that when i was braiding i was not in frame when i did most of my middle section so i'm so sorry i had to cut that out because i just could not provide that footage to you guys but i'm popping in right here because i do my braids in the front a little differently so instead of braiding down three times with my natural hair i braid down six times okay i need a really good grip and then i add even smaller sections of braiding hair when it comes to the front like you can't even see the amount of hair that I just added because it's so tiny yeah I need to make sure that my braids look super small in the front um and yeah I think I braid down like four times in between adding the braiding hair in the front just because you really got to make sure that it locks in since you are using such small pieces of hair and I'm not sure how the texture of your natural hair is but the texture of my natural hair in the front is way finer than the hair in the back and in the middle okay so yeah, doing these steps helps get a better grip. Taking me to do some knotless boho braids, like I've been through some shit, man. But I be on my shit, man. I decided that what you give is what you give is. So I've been trying to do it right. I've been doing like whatever gets me through the night. What a life. I'm steady, always on the go. You steady, always on the go. We steady, losing all control. Okay, 
you guys so i'm basically done with my hair let me pull y'all down a little bit so y'all can see a little better because now it's time to wrap my ends what i'm going for is a curl that's away from my face that's like looks like an s curl i don't want it to be too like too curly suish type so i'm just gonna put this is the um length of the flexi rock that i'm using i'm gonna put a little hook at the top and then you see how braid that braid short as shit don't don't mind her she ain't gonna get curled oh well but i'm gonna hook it towards the end of the braids and then i'm gonna wrap it around like pretty loosely because i want the curl to be looser than what i normally do for the end of my braids um and then i'm going to bend the ends so they stay together i'm probably going to end up cutting this hair too like i said earlier because it's so stinking long like i'm not even at tall so this is something that you should get so i have my bow of boiling hot water not sure if you can see a stain but bro it's hot since it's so hot i don't want to risk burning myself so i'm just gonna dip the bottom should i do it one at a time Maybe I should do it one at a time. I like to take my comb and make sure everything is down there and get you a towel on deck because your hair will be piping hot. So get a thick one if you can. And then once you're able to touch it, you just unroll it. Okay, that came out nice. So you can't even see. This is what it looks like. That came out so stinking nice. Boom, check out this side. She's cute boom there we have it okay these look so cute but before i can do anything else i'm going to let them air dry okay but this is what they are giving hope you guys can see so cute they look so cute i tried to change the angle so y'all can see from like roots to ends they came out so cute. So far, the hair isn't getting matted, but I'm sure that will change in a little bit. So now I'm about to lay my edges. I'm using the Style Factor Edge Booster in Pineapple. I like to comb through the product and then brush it. I haven't used real edge control in so long. I probably put too much. Probably don't need all this. I had to put a robe on, girl, because the braids, the fresh braids, is itching my back like crazy. Like, oh my god. Finishing touches. Oh my god, this feels so good on the scalp. I'm gonna spray it. Usually what I do on this part of the process is blow dry it, but I don't feel like doing all that. <laughs> like, just think of all the styles I'm going to be able to do with them. Speaking of styles, here are some options. The braid on the left and the clock clip on the right were my absolute favorite styles. Comment down below what style you want me to do next. Like, ah, I'm obsessed, but yeah. Comment down below what style I should do next, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, mamas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um.